Emily and welcome back for another video. I know I have been gone for a really really long time and it really wasn't my intention. It just happened because I haven't had the time or the energy to focus on making videos for you guys and keeping my YouTube channel updated every week. Um, but hopefully that will change. The corona and everything that's going on right now has just taken has just taken its toll on me so i've been tired i have had a lot to do so youtube haven't been my first priority but yeah as i said i hope that will change now and that i will have some more time to create videos for you guys and show you what's in my bullet journal vlogs etc um so yeah i know it's pretty late but here is my november setup and as you can probably tell right now my theme is among us and if you don't know what that is it's a game that has pretty much taken over the world and you are on this spaceship and you are trying to make tasks while there are imposters on this spaceship and they will sabotage and kill the other crewmates. Um, it's a really fun game, so I recommend that you try it unless you haven't. Um, but yeah, as you can probably tell, I have taken a lot of inspiration from Amanda Rach Lee for my cover page because I watch her YouTube channel and her last November plan with me setup and it was amazing i absolutely loved it so i had to do a similar one and so basically as on the right side i drew plenty of crewmates from the game and then on the left side i'm making this kind of slide that she also made in her bullet journal which i think is a really good idea it's so creative and here you can see me and cutting out a part of my page and making this like I don't really know what to call it but slide or something like that and then I color it black so it would match the background and after that I am drawing a crewmate which will be um, transferred through the page when you pull in this paper you, you will see what I mean in just a few seconds. I really don't know how to explain to English. I'm not so good, but yeah, I just, yeah, there you can see. I just thought it was such a good idea. So I wanted to write 2020 was an imposter, but I didn't have enough space. So I could only write 2020 was imposter. But just the idea is so good because I really, feel like 2020 shouldn't be counted as a year because it was so bad and um, the fires the world war free like corona like everything it was so bad so hopefully we can just forget everything and move on when 2021 comes i guess that's not really gonna happen since corona is getting worse right now but hopefully it will be over soon and we will find a vaccine after I had finished drawing all of my crewmates and colored them in, I decided I wanted to doodle around the whole page and fill out the empty spaces just as Amanda did. Because I want a lot of color in my bullet journal right now. It, the whole situation is just too dark so I want to pop it out with a lot of colors and make myself happy. So after the cover page was finished, I moved on to my monthly page. And I didn't want it to take too much space since I'm using Notion to keep track of all of my tests, assignments, homeworks, etc. But I still wanted to be able to put in new events that I got to know of so I would be able to keep track of everything everywhere. Um, so here you can see me coloring in the boxes with my Tombow Furunosuke brush pen, which is one of my favorite pens. And I drew this 
pink line at the right side of the page and then I cut off the rest of the page because I felt like I didn't need it and I wanted to make something fun on the other side. After that I doodled some more crewmates and on my card page I pretty much only used mind liners but I felt like the colors didn't really fit and they don't look really good especially on the camera so I decided to switch to my beetle tip dual color highlighters these are as the name suggests highlighters with a beetle tip so they have two highlighter colors at the same side of the pen and the colors are really pretty and mild and if you're interested to see more about them i will put a link in the description box down below for my haul video which i made i think it was this spring and if you also click in the upper right corner right now you will be able to get to the video after that I doodled around some more and I wrote Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday over all of the columns and I wrote in all of the day's number. And after that it was time to move on to my other page. So when you flip the cut page I decided to make a gratitude tracker just as Amanda did because I want to be better at thinking positively and what I'm actually grateful for. On the other page I changed a lot from what Amanda did. I did make a small goal page. I don't really use that much but I wanted to have three goals that I wanted to work on for this month and I also made a shopping list because let's face it it's almost December and that means that it's almost Christmas. In November it's Black Friday and everything's on sale so you better ask now what people want for Christmas so you can buy it while it's on sale. <laughs> Just a tip for you. And then on the right side I made a study plan which I just came up with. So basically I wrote in all the days for the upcoming four weeks so I can make a study plan and on each day I can like writing this day I want to study this and then on Wednesday I want to study this again and then I want to repeat it in a week because I have my test in two weeks if you understand what I mean so it's easier to plan when you need to study what and repeat everything then on the other side I made my music page for November which I didn't finish because we don't have access to a good printing machine right now um, so I will finish that when it's possible. I also left a blank page for a quote but I didn't know which quote I wanted to write in so if any of you have any good suggestions of a quote that fits November and the Among Us theme I'm happy to hear. So if you have any ideas on quotes please leave a comment down below and I will happily read them through. Um, so basically right now I'm working on my weekly spread setup and I'm drawing this imposter killing another crewmate in the upper left corner and then to the right of the drawing I'm just writing out a small calendar for November so I will keep track of every date and so on. Then I moved on to all of my days and I did it as Amanda did it because I no, I need a lot of space right now and I just liked her idea. So I'm drawing these boxes where I will write in Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, etc. And then I will draw this small rectangular box underneath in different colors. So it will create this pretty rainbow. For this I mostly used my Mindliner highlighters, but I also used my green purple beetle tip dual color highlighter and I also used my Tumbledore brush pen in black to make my Sunday box and then I wanted to have something in the upper left corner on my right page so I decided to write imposter uh, and then a question mark after that and just color in the background black so it will be like the night sky and the imposter letters will be so I don't know if you can call it stars but it will like shine through a little more so it will make a bigger like 
impression. And after that, I needed to color in my imposter and my crewmate, which got killed, unfortunately. And I wanted some strong colors, so I also used my liners for this job. And then I realized that it was Monday tomorrow because it was Sunday when I wrote in this. So <laughs> this is really important. I wrote that the imposter's name was Monday <laughs> and then the crewmate's name is me because I really felt like Monday was going to kill me right then and I really didn't want the new week to start because it was Monday, it was back to school, it was more stress moments and no, I just wanted everything to stop. So yeah, that's my November setup, you guys. My plan is to glue this left page together with the page behind because I don't want them to be separate. Um, but otherwise, I'm really happy with how this November setup turned out. It's really colorful, it's really useful, and I just love the theme. So don't forget to leave a comment down below for quote ideas and leave a thumb up and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed the video. Bye!